How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be looking at which tools you're going to need for developing JavaScript as well as a few extensions which you might want to consider installing as well. But again, just to point it out, it's not required that you install extensions. Extensions are just here to make it easier to write code and create websites. Now when it comes to the tools you need for JavaScript development, there are only two things you need to install. The first is a text editor and the second is a browser. Because you will be spending a lot of time developing using JavaScript inside the browser's built-in developer tool which I will teach you about in another episode. Now, when it comes to text editors, there are a lot to choose from. They're very basic editors that doesn't have any syntax checking or color schemes to tell you which code is what. And then they're very complicated editors that require that you spend some time getting to know how to use them and how to set them up. And then there are everything in between. So what I went ahead and did here is I found a few text editors that I believe you should focus on. The first one is called Sublime Text, which is also the editor I've been using in my earliest lessons here on the channel, so some of you might recognize it. It's also a free editor, but if you don't buy the commercial version, then you will get pop-ups from time to time asking you to buy the full version, which can be quite annoying. The second editor that we're going to be looking at is called Atom, which is also a free editor, but this one does not have any kind of annoying pop-ups or commercial version. This is also the text editor that I'm currently using on my channel when I teach programming. And both Sublime Text and Atom are very simple to get into and start using. The last editor I want to mention is one called Visual Studio Code. Not to be confused with Visual Studio, which is an IDE. These are two different software, both created by Microsoft. Visual Studio Code is the editor that I personally use for my own projects. But it's also a bit more complicated to set up than Sublime Text and Atom. Now all of these editors are great options and it doesn't matter which one you choose, which is why I will be using Atom for this JavaScript course. Atom is very user friendly and it's very pretty to look at, which might not matter, but I'm a sucker for text editors that look nice. So I went ahead and dropped links for these editors in the description of the video. So go ahead and install it so it's ready for the next episode. Of course, if you're willing to jump into another editor, then you're more than welcome to do so. Just be aware that I'll only show how to install extensions for Atom in the next episode. There's another thing I want to point out since I get asked about it quite often here on my channel, which is the fact that all these editors have a dark background when you write code inside the program. Now I know that a lot of you prefer a white background when you write code inside your editor, but the reason that the background is dark as a default is because it puts less strain on your eyes when you write code for an extended amount of time. But if you absolutely have to, then you can change the color scheme inside the editor after you install it. And we'll also do that in the next episode if you wish to see that. So now we talked about the editors and let's actually go ahead and talk about the browsers. Now, when it comes to browsers, it doesn't really matter which one you choose to use in this course, since they all have built-in developer tools. However, I should mention that some browsers might look slightly different in the developer tool. Personally, I will be using Google Chrome in this course here. So if you want your browser to look identical to mine, then you now know which browser you should install and use if you don't have it already, of course. Now there's one more thing I want to mention this episode, which is the extensions that we're going to be installing in the next episode. Now, when it comes to using these different text editors that I just showed you here, we tend to install extensions to make it easier to develop these websites. And in the next episode, we will be focusing on two extensions. The first one is going to be one that formats your code inside the editor, meaning that if you have code in all sorts of weird ways and it doesn't really make sense when you look at it visually, then you can using an extension, make it rearrange the code so it looks nice again. And the second extension we're gonna look at is one that updates the website inside the browser as soon as you save your code inside the editor, which is something that is really nice to have so you don't have to go manually inside the browser each time and then refresh the browser to see the changes. So this is what I want to talk about in this episode. In the next one, we'll learn how to actually install these extensions that makes writing JavaScript quite a bit easier. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.